Okay. I don't know what I was saying in the last reading, but this reading, uh, I think I, I think I, I did a reading on these, but my energy was so negative that I didn't want to post it because I don't want nobody thinking that I'm affected by anything that's going on or you feel me? Because it's like the energies that I'm picking up on, I could be expressing the energy of the person that's trying to send the attack, but I'm not affected and I don't want it to be presumed that way. So I I don't like to post it, but I think I've, anyways. So the ringleader got caught. Okay, no, I read this. I posted the video. When you know better, you do better. Third party teaching you how to express yourself at the end. Okay, basically, the ringleader recruited these people to tear you down, but it was doing the opposite. So now they had to create a situation that would tear you away from these third party. But before that happened, you had already experienced a, a different type of behavior that would allow you to step into your power and see, you know, because whatever they were doing, you had a different, like, like your, your emotional standpoint towards this third party was different than what the person that was attacking you, you know, the connection that you had with that person that was attacking you versus the third party. So when the third party did it, you was like, hold on, da, 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 da. that's like when you have your kids and they do stuff and you're not going to allow them to do it. So it's like you started realizing like, okay, I, I, I don't want to accept this anymore. So I'm not going to accept it. You started realizing, like, okay, even though this person means a lot to you, it doesn't mean that you have to accept the disrespect that they're giving to you because you don't give it to them type stuff. Um, the person took advantage of your of you not exposing them. Your attacker took advantage of you not exposing them. <sighs> basically what I'm going to say and keep it moving. And to remember that they use your, they use your time of weakness, whether you're sick, whether you're on your period, whether you just had a baby, whether you're dealing with a death in your relationship, in, in your lifetime or whatever, or, you know, if you receive some bad news or whatever, and they, they want to play on those emotions and that's when they attack you. Yeah, so um, people like to give out negative information on what somebody else said, but not to say what they said. It's like, oh, yeah, such and such said this about this, that, and the third, but what did you say? You probably egged it on, like, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, want, I wouldn't want that either, like, da, da 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 And then they'll call you and say, oh, such and such said this. Yeah, but what did you say with the conversation? Like, you sat there and listened to them talk about it. Did you engage in the conversation, too? So it's like the only reason why they would probably engage in that conversation is so that they could get that person to say what they said so that when it's exposed, that person can be like, yeah, I said that I feel guilty, da, 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 da. But then they're not focused on, oh, what this person said because in that time, it's like that person could have put a manipulation over that person to not expose what they said at that time, you know, type stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm, yep. Yep, 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 yep. So what you're doing now is you're verbally telling other people, you're putting them on to the manipulation that was done to you, and they could be like, oh, shit, she was doing the same thing to me type stuff and blah, 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 blah. You didn't have to let go. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to let go. So now it's like um, this person's intention could have been to do, you know, it's like, it's like, I have to do it. I don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it because I need to get out of this karma. But they're so just evil that they slip back into their evil ways. It's like, I'm supposed to be here to help 
to uh, pay off my karma, but they create more karma because in the middle of them clearing their karma, they do something else that will cause them to have more karma later on. So it's like, if you're going to clear one part of your karma just to create more karma, what is the point? So it's like, even though you're doing what you're supposed to do to clear your karma, you're still in the energy of attacking somebody. It's like, you need to dead all attacks to, you feel me? So until you dead all attacks, your karma is not going to be so, so basically you're doing something to clear your karma, but your karma is not being clear because your intentions are not to stop doing what you're doing that caused the karma in the first place. Hmm. Yeah, people are trying to project stuff onto you. It's like you set me up for failure and da 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 da. The same thing that they're projecting onto you is what they are, what they have been doing to you. So if 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 they feel like oh you're so disrespectful to me and da 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 da, or if they just start naming stuff out the blue, like you need to take responsibility for your actions. They're talking to themselves. They're not talking to you because it's like responsibility for what actions? I haven't done anything. The fact that I'm defending myself because you're attacking me that's what you want me to take accountability for like i didn't do no basically they're trying to trick you like take accountability for your actions they want you to accept the karma like it's it's a it's mind games it's mind games dang can i see you can i see you hey Hey, your mommy. Hey, 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 better look at me. You better look at me. Hello, Mama Sita. Hey, hello. Oh, okay, okay. I'm just making sure you follow me, okay? I know you just woke up, Mommy. Going a little too fast. Okay, okay, okay. So basically, now that you realize that this person has no intent on changing or caring that they're hurting your feelings or trying to fix it, they're just continuously trying to be in your energy to create conflict. You're cutting this person off. You might be dealing with them, but it's 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 like it's like the manipulation that they had on you. They're doing it thinking that they could still have that manipulation on you if they connect with you and and it's in your energy, but you're just observing how how exposed like they're exposed now like you see them like like your <sighs> your eyes are open to their manipulations now you're no longer blinded by love not saying that you don't love them anymore but it's just like you know so basically what 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 is happening is you're seeing them and exposing them whereas before they will, were able to block you from exposing them by trying to shut you up or intimidate you or hold things against you as far as, oh, I'm going to kick you out or I'm not going to feed you or, you know, just just trying to put stuff in your head that if you speak, this is going to happen to you type stuff. They say it's not how you want to help, but how you're told to help. Your person, this person was supposed to help you in a specific type of way, but they had hidden agendas and, you know, it's like, I told her to do this and then, and then that, but then at the same time, behind the scenes, they manipulated you to not be able to complete the action. Yeah. So the things that they complained about, 
it's like, okay, since since you're so conflicted with this, that, and the third, and that's the reason why you feel like you weren't able to do what you needed to do, we're going to rearrange that so now you have the time to do it. And then it's like, well, this is not the type of career that I want. And it's like, well, this doesn't seem like the type of career that you want. So therefore, they lo they lost their position, and now they have to find something else. So if they're looking in the same career field as what the career field that they had before, my mama is cold. That their career path is going to change. So from working so many hours, getting paid so much, they could just go to a regular nine to five type of job. Because um their karma could be like trying to cause problems with divine feminine kids and being the one that reported or conjured up a situation so that things could look a certain type of way or whatever the case may be. Now people are turning on them and probably could be um, reporting to their job like, oh, this person has a mental issue. They could have had a, a recorded conversation about them confessing, oh, yeah, I got mental issues. This and that, blah, 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 all this stuff like that. Yeah, so I feel like because you're exposing them, they feel even more obligated to attack you. And that's just causing instant karma for them and all type of sorts. 